Chat, but now we back. Hey, straight vibe podcast, back and shit. Yeah, bullshit. Hey. How y'all boys been, bro? Cool, man. Cool. First home game we just had last weekend. So, what's the topic for today, y'all? Uh? What we talking about? Got down. I lost my voice too, chat. So I sound crazy I as hell. Like you go ahead and throw it in. You feel me? Quality time, bro. Feel me? Social media got shit fucked up now. You feel me? What quality time is and how it's supposed to be spent. Because, like, so what's your shit? Like, what's your bro? So, like, quality time, cause like now, now, like, in 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 our generation of dating, going out and going out on dates is is that's like one of the only ways people look at quality time. You feel me? Hell yeah, yeah, I'm on. Like. It's okay to it's okay to kick it, you feel me, where you reside, you feel me. That's it. I'm the type of nigga I like to order pizza, you feel me? Yeah. Go 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 get a little pizza to go, bring that motherfucker back, do my little due diligence. Eat my pizza. Vibe in the room with my shorty, do what I do. Hey. I'm that type of nigga. I, I don't like I don't like to do too much. No good. Yeah, I, I fuck with the dates and shit. Mm. But that's like every so often. Yeah. I agree with that. No bull. Like, I'm talking about, you know, we live South Fly, you feel me? So. <laughs> ain't that much shit for us to do. Got them. Nah, I mean, it's shit to do for dates and shit. Like, you just yeah. gotta be creative and shit. But, like, we live in South Fly, like, I'm talking nigga. South Fly, we got scooters and shit. Yeah, that's hard. Some chill shit. Okay. You feel me? So, ride around, like, ride around the no street on some scooters. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it's like worship over that bitch. And I got down everything in the down. The mall and shit over there, yeah. So that's hard. Yeah, so it's like, fuck it, why not? But it's like, not, like, I see what you're saying, though. Like, me, I like to chill in the room and shit. Watch a movie with my girl. On some chill shit, we can get some snacks. And she like to play the game a little bit. We could, I'll be busting her ass and shit. You feel me? On some chill shit. That shit cool. Nowadays, they think. You know them little fucking little meme pictures that are like going on the face? <laughs> goddamn yeah. nigga wear the sneaker, jump got the high heels on, they're going to some expensive ass goddamn restaurant. Or some shit where they just going out. Now that's like now that's what I feel like that's what's normalized. Is that. Fitting the image almost. Yeah, like every relationship is fitting the image now. Mm-hmm. It's trying to play into the aspect of what's going on on the net right now. Yeah. Why are you feeding into that shit? That shit lame. Mm-hmm. Because everybody progress different on the net. Just because I posted that picture, you don't know shit that's going on between us. You don't know we a month in, nigga. We we in the happy stage right now, nigga. I'm in lust. You feel me? <laughs> you don't know. Got them. We got them. Six months in, I'm I'm determining if I really want to do this shit or not. Or if I'm eight months in and I want to knock this girl head off because it's like me and her stuck together. Oh yeah. You don't know off based off that fucking picture, but that's what's normalized. Social media fuck people head up. Come on, so yeah, yeah, but see, we talked about that before. <laughs> we talked about that shit every, yeah, almost every episode, but that shit true, bro. That's what fuck nigga, up. this shit social media right here. Feel me? Motherfuckers don't know what actual quality time is. And like how to spend that shit with The somebody. amount of influence that the social media got on the world, that shit dangerous, nigga. Like, that it, bro. It's like, we really don't need that shit, but us in the society, we grew to have to need the social media now. 
But like niggas before our time was living without that shit, you feel me? But shit was more successful than they time too. They had more, they didn't have more as, <clears throat> they didn't have as much problems and shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Now, we see one thing, we we comparing our lives to the shit we see on social media. Some, yeah, you can use that as motivation, but sometimes people use that as, like you were saying, like, oh, people think we should go on dates or go out somewhere. We normalize that shit, bro. So, like, that social media shit dangerous. Like, the dates and shit, cool. Like, that shit fun. But, like, I feel like that's every so often. Yeah. yeah. Like, man, cool shit. little nice little date on some shit. And, got, like, flowers. <clears throat> flowers is, flowers is yeah. trying to get played out as, uh, as a... Because if you do it so often, bro, that shit start to become boring, bro. It's like, what do you have to look forward to nowadays? You feel me? I was gonna say, sometimes, bro, it might not even become boring. It might become a norm to the point where if they don't receive it, then that becomes another, another problem. problem. That's a, that's a, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. In, in in the relationship, you do you do you do a lot of shit the same way, like shit like clockwork. But then, as you get older and y'all grow up in the relationship, and a lot of the shit that you used to do, you don't like to do that shit no more. So now I kind of throw them off, like, like you switching up, like you moving weird. But it's like, bro, I'm getting older now. Like some of the shit that we used to do back then, I don't like doing now because yeah. I don't feel the need to do it no more. Like staying like on the phone all day. Yeah, that's like. I'm not. I'm not gonna say some little kid shit because some people like to do it. But stand on the phone all day. I'm cool with like updating you, like sending you texts, like letting you know what's going on and shit. But stand on the phone all day. If we stay on the phone all day. We don't got shit. We, don't, we not gonna have shit to talk about. You don't got nothing to look forward to to talk about. Hell yeah, yeah, you got a point with that. And like you said a few like episodes back, like if I'm on the phone with you. And I ain't doing shit, then I feel like I ain't accomplished nothing. Like I'm just sitting around on the phone with you all day and not getting shit done. I'm just, that's literally all I'm doing. I'm just sitting on the phone with you all day. Like, niggas got shit to do. But why do you think people do that, though? I think, to a certain extent, it's, I ain't gonna it's, it's an array of things, though. I used to do that shit. Like, I used to be the person that, oh, I had to be on the phone with my girl all day, but. When I, I ain't gonna lie, when I did that shit, that was a little insecurity thing. I'm like, okay, I, exactly. I want to be with her 24 seven. I want to see what the hell she's doing or mm -hmm. some shit. That was so, like, yeah. you think that's the reason why most people do that shit? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's an array of things. Like, it could be, like, you being territorial, feeling a certain type of way about, like, what your significant other could be up to. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you might want to be on the phone with them all day. Um, shit, it could be just, like... It could bring out something in your inner child, like it could like heal something, like a part of you, like abandonment or like like distance. Like it could bring out that side of you, but on the other side of it, it's like how often do you need that done? You know what I'm saying? Because like some people, they take quality time and they turn it into therapy or their therapy. So like if I'm not putting into or giving to my significant other, which is their definition of quality time then they feel unloved, they feel betrayed, all that other stuff. And that's unfair, because my job in this relationship is to love you the way you see fit, right? Mm. But you can't abuse the way I love you, you know what I'm saying? Because if I'm loving you the way you see fit, and you manipulate it to fit your image of love in its entirety, not the way I love you, mm. that's unfair. Because you can't, like, that's just unfair altogether. You can't tell somebody that, if you don't stay on the phone with me all day and keep me updated and be around me 24 seven and take forever to text back that you don't love me. And if you do that, you're showing me you love me. Mm -hmm. like, it's like, but then again, everybody's different. Yeah. So like, one thing that you like like I said in the other podcast, you're gonna get a different experience from everybody that you mess with. Hands down, you're gonna get a different experience. It's it's got them four different personalities in this bitch right now. No bullshit. No bullshit. It's four different personalities in this room. 
So it's just a simple fact is people don't know how to adapt to fucking with the people that they fucking with. Like quality time to somebody might be sitting on the phone all day. But quality time to somebody else might be just chilling. Be around me 25-7. Like just cool up. But some people don't know how to elope them bitches. Yeah. And bring them shits together. And that be the downfall of a lot of niggas' relationships. Because a lot of niggas don't know how to Compromise. <laughs> oh, Basically. Really compromise, bro. <clears throat> this is like... That, and that's what I mean by therapy. Like, you're using the way someone loves you as a way of f- filling a void or healing untended to wounds that you chose to ignore, that you chose to stay away from. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm around to love you the way that you need to be loved in my own form, if it's not fitting the way you want me to love you then you don't feel loved you feel but like I said you feel betrayed you feel an array of things that don't fit what I'm doing to you because you're not getting what you want that's selfishness though exactly and that's selfish because at the end of the day quality time is simply what it is it's self explanatory it's self explanatory quality time is quality time it's how you it's literally what you do to enjoy time with someone else that's quality time come on now like so if you whether you go on a date, whether you stay in the room and order pizza, whether you play a game all day or bed rock or go to church and X, Y, Z, that's how you do it. But don't make quality time a selfish thing. It's quality time. When you have quality time, both people should enjoy the, the shit that you're doing, though. Exactly. Feel me? Bro, I did One person it. shouldn't be like, oh, fuck, we gotta, you want to do this? Oh, okay, awesome shit. Like we both should, they both should be like, all right, bet let's cool, let's go have fun or some shit. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Because at the end of the day, that's not quality time <clears throat> if it's only fulfilling one. No person. bullshit, that's kissing ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Another thing, another thing that I gotta, I gotta throw in there. Quality time looks different for different, different, different stages in your, in your, in your life. Oh God. Like, quality time. Definitely got it. It's, it's going to mature over time for you sure. You feel me? Like, quality time got them as a young nigga. Oh my fuck. It's fault. different. Because that shit low-key supervised. Like, my nigga, like, quality time is different. Then, now, we, niggas getting older. We call this niggas. Quality time way different for us. Like, quality time, nigga, come chill in the door with me. This, we, we chill and we vibe. Yeah. You feel me? Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> it has to be like this shit. Like, yeah, we can go out and get food and shit. Go play me and see that way. You feel me? Like, we can, we can buy. Oh, yes. But then, getting out of school, quality time is different. Because mm-hmm. now you're a grown ass, you're a grown ass man, you're a grown ass woman. <clears> like, you got shit you got to handle, you feel me? Got them. Young, somebody might have little ones running around. You might have a job that. You gotta work a little bit extra harder for you. You stand on your feet all down some shit. You feel me? So quality, yeah. and it's like you got you got a little bit more wiggle room. You can you can do a little bit more because you got a little bit more in your pocket. Mm. Yeah. So it's just like quality time. Come, I might toss you a key, nigga. I might have the key now. You feel me? On my own shit. So now it's no excuse of not having quality time because I'm an older nigga now. Like yeah. I got my own shit here. Fucking. College nigga, damn, I gotta check you in. Like, shit, you gotta wait a little bit. You feel me? <laughs> it's a nine o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> like, I got, I got, I got, got, got the and shit. I got a six to nine. Hold up, you gotta wait. You yeah. feel me? I got practice at three o'clock. Shit, shit moves. Like, then as a little nigga, like, mom, can I go see you shorty? Nah, not tonight. Like, not today. Like, fuck. <laughs> quality time different. Like, it's different stages to quality time, my nigga. Like, that's that's one thing I learned. Like, but is that, but that's another thing though. Like you said, it's different stages, bro. You and your significant other got to be on the same maturity level when it comes to that shit. You feel me? And not just the same maturity level. One can't be stuck age. in the high school ways and yeah. you in the fucking adulthood now. 
motherfuckers can't be trying to see each other. You feel me? All twenty four seven. You got you got class in the morning, like you said on some shit. You feel me? Feel me? Or you an older nigga? Right? <coughs> I got work. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you me so. <laughs> so like it's you just gotta know how to move with your partner and that's when communication comes into in, into the ballpark you feel me into the playing grounds playing fields that's what I was just saying that's like, just that's same page that's bro. playing that's playing right, right there then, step one communication communication we don't talk about it so much but like Communication always fucking changes. Like, people communicate differently. Like, everybody communicates different. And that's what fucks up the steeds of everybody's relationship. It's hard to get on the same page for communication for a lot of people. If y'all are not already on the same page from the jump, it's going to be, it, it takes some time for you and your partner to, like, I understand what the fuck y'all mean by communication, you know? Especially, especially if one has experienced communication in a healthier way more than the other one. Hell you know yeah. What I'm saying? Because it could be where I'm in my household, I can open up to my people, just let them know how I'm feeling, yeah. talk about where the boundary has been crossed and X, Y, Z. It could be somebody else in the household where um, they try to talk to their parents and their parents get the screen on them. Or their parents just be counting favors on some shit. Mm. Now I make them feel like, oh, well, I can't say shit. If I say something, this is what they're going to resort to. So when they get into a friendship or a relationship, that's going to affect the way they communicate. Because at the end of the day, they can't even tell their parents how they feel without getting backlash. What do you think they're going to do when they get in that relationship? Mm-hmm. And again, like you can't get mad at them for assuming because that's what they've been dealing with their whole life. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just what it's been. So. One, one thing I noticed though, communicating, like, I'm not going to say everybody don't communicate because everybody communicates, but one thing that I've learned in in my little night, in my little 19 years of living, my little, my little one too, is it's all about the delivery, uh, how you, how you present the shit to somebody, mm-hmm. like, the delivery always gonna play a factor in how they take it and how the how the conversation goes. Yeah. Because if you come off hostile about some shit that got them that's that you feeling and that you wanna get off your chest, it's not gonna it's gonna come off as defensive mm-hmm. and now she trying to contradict everything that you saying. But if you come to her on some player shit and just like you talking to her calm, and like hey, like this is how I'm feeling. Depending on, depending on goddamn the person that you fucking with, it's gonna be a valid response. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> that's a fact, bro. That shit goes. That shit take goals, bro. Say, it, it's it also deal. It also starts with yourself too. Like you can't sit over here and talk about communication if. Half of the time, you don't understand what you're feeling, why you're feeling that way, and a way to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when you take the time to actually analyze where you are as far as being emotionally intelligent, when you address certain stuff, boom, everything can be laid out on the table. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't address or figure out how you're feeling from an emotional intelligence standpoint, that shit not going to come out right. You just got to take into account that... Like- Sometimes you fucked up too, you know exactly. what I'm saying? A lot, but then again, you know, our little generation that we got, motherfuckers don't like to take accountability, and that goes into one of the episodes from last semester. If I want to believe that, that we talked about it. But it's just the simple fact is, we in a fucked up world where everything is based off of social media, bro. Everything is. If, if it's not going like this, all right, I gotta find something to where it actually go like this. Mm-hmm. And it's sick, it's sickening. Because niggas really don't know what real love is. <laughs> no, they don't, bro. And we still young, bro, and it ain't no time limit on love, so you feel me? You gonna get what you get, nigga. But, nigga, don't throw no fits, bro. 
every goddamn, every nigga you come encounter with, every female you come encounter with, goddamn. It's a lesson. It's a, it's a, it's a path to your journey. You feel me? So, what can I say? Don't, don't be a fuck up. Don't bullshit. What you mean by that, bro? Just, don't be a fuck up, bro. Don't, 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 don't come into somebody life and intentionally fuck up their life. Just don't be a fuck up. If y'all both going to shit with good intentions, bro, it'll always be in y'all favor. Just don't be a fuck up. I agree. But, cause think about it. If y'all both going to shit with good intentions, even if y'all shit don't work out, it's gonna work out because y'all ended that shit peacefully. Yeah. Yeah. I, but again, like I said before, you gotta, once you actually analyze how you feel as a person, being able to analyze how someone else feels and how someone else responds and reacts to your actions, that can also play a part into it. Because again, you can have good intentions and still not know why your partner feels like this. Still not know why your partner shuts down when y'all get to talking. Why your partner yell at you and scream and just like, just break out. And it's just all over the place emotionally when conflict hits the fan. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, and that's, that's, <sighs> because again, you said before, it starts with your delivery. But how you deliver something to someone also comes from what you observed before you approached it. You know what I'm saying? Because you took the time to analyze how somebody made you feel prior to what you were about to deliver to them. So as soon as you were ready to deliver it to them, you already knew, okay, if I say this, they're going to respond like that. If they respond like this, I know how to follow up. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. So... Again, you can have good intentions, but you also got to know what your intentions are towards. You can't just have good intentions just because, and then that's that. Like, it's got to be good intentions towards someone's emotion, someone's mental health, the relationship in, in its entirety. Like, it's got to be a, an array of things put into one, and it's got to be a, like a specific list of things. Because if it's not, and you just got good intentions, and you don't know where to put those intentions into, you don't know where to invest that energy into, you're gonna be confused. And then you're gonna just be like lost. Like, damn, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I got a good heart. Like, I wanna do right by her. I wanna do right by him. But how? You know what I'm saying? So. Don't be a fuck up, bro. <laughs> that's literally <laughs> it. Like, that's the name of the game, bro. Don't be a fuck up, bro. A lot of y'all be wanting to trick off. Y'all wanna. Y'all. I wanna just get a new nigga, fuck it. Don't go into a relationship if you don't got good intentions, point blank, right? Like, damn, y'all motherfuckers don't like the weather, the storm. Like, and don't go into no relationship if you if you already know you're going to expect too much on some shit, you feel me? Oh, my God, these motherfuckers don't like the weather, the storm. Y'all motherfuckers, ugh, y'all niggas hate to see you. Goddamn, <laughs> the finished product. <clears throat> I like this. You got to build some shit up before it look good. No bullshit. Nigga, how long you think it take to build a crib? Uh, a full blown crib. So they building other part of Luda right now. You feel me? But not for it or like. Shit, it takes. It take about it take about a year or two to build a crib. Mm -hmm. Shit, if you if you ain't built your crib up, one or two years, nigga. That shit gonna be ass. Nah, but that shit gonna be. Shit gonna, gonna, gonna be falling apart. That's what I'm saying, bro. You gotta you gotta build, bro. Y'all be the contractor, bro. Y'all lay that foundation, gang. Don't be a fuck up, bro. Thank, thank. SVP, bitch. That's a good A. That was a good film. Good ass topic, boy. I like we gave the people some knowledge. Y'all can go off based off that. Try to fix whatever the hell y'all got going on in the future and shit like that. No bullshit, bro. Let us know how y'all feeling towards, you know towards the topics we're talking about, you know, give us insight and give us y'all's take on what y'all think quality time is and how a person should approach quality time and this the entirety of a relationship with their significant other. But shit, until then, it's your boy Book. Trail. See you, man. We out, yeah.
pushing up on them, they sit in their face. Nick got knocked, they shut up to say the crib get highly the peas with tape. Uh huh. Wee, 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 wee. Why she long recording? Like, what the wee, 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 wee. come on. Wee, wee, wee. Watch out. Wee, wee. <laughs> Subscribe to the motherfucking podcast, man. SVP, man. Trillest niggas on the planet, man. Come kick it with us, bastard. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. All right. What he said, nigga? No, I lost my voice. I sound like Patrick Mahomes and shit, bro. What he said? You kicking straight wisdom and knowledge to you, niggas, yo. Come tap in, bro. I need a fat bitch with a boat. <laughs> I did that out. No bullshit. My bitch, I'm